Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the controller tab, and then select disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try enable Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. Still not working, the next step is to PlayStation controller user uh, enable the controller in sound control panel now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here now use the wired connection to connect your controller so you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Use a wired connection. Now, once you connect your controller, it will detect your controller. See, the controller is detected now. So, make a right click on the controller and make sure it is enabled. If disabled, enable it. And then again, make a right click, click on configure speakers. And then quadraphonic, select next, put a check on front, left and right and put a check on surround speaker, then click on next, click on finish. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, use wired connection. So uh, you can you connect your controller using the cable and once you have a wired connection, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can use DS4 Windows. You can search in Google, install this application, and then you can configure your controller and then check. Next step is to update your controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. Now, if you have Xbox controller open, Microsoft store on your computer, and then in the search box, type in Xbox accessories app, and then click on Xbox accessories and if not install install Xbox accessories app and then launch Xbox accessories app now once you launch it you have to again use the wired connection so you connect the controller using the cable USB cable and once you connect it it will detect your controller over here and you will see three dots more option over here so let me connect my controller So now you can see the controller is directed. Now click on these three dots. And if there is any update, click on update option over here. Continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Now if you have PlayStation Accessories app, in that case, uh, you can go to PlayStation website, go to the official website, and then you can install this PlayStation Accessories app on your computer. So click on download for Windows. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. And in my case, I already have installed PlayStation Accessories app. Launch PlayStation Accessories app. Now, once you launch it, now connect your uh, controller. Now, once your controller, it will detect your controller if there is any update. In my case, it, it's already up to date. So if you see update option, update your controller and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Launch Steam in big picture mode. So go to Steam at the top right here, you can see the big picture mode icon. So click on enter big picture mode icon. Once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can find the game over here. Click on the game and then you can launch the game from here and then you can check. Now still not working, then disconnect all the USB adapter connected to the computer. So if you have any uh, any USB adapter connected to the computer which you're not using, disconnect it, disconnect external devices, unplug keyboard, launch the game. Uh, if you have external keyboard connected, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller like Vijo, etc. So any kind of virtual controller, you can disable it or uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल